All right, we are back with the Barcelona Master League. So there have been a few developments since the last episode. So we have an offer for Paul Pogba right now, a swap with Gabriel Jesus, which that doesn't sound like the worst possible like uh, signing for us, but I think there's a bit of a better one. So a few of you guys in the comments gave me the idea of bringing in a player on loan instead of trying to sign them with a, with a normal transfer fee. And you already probably know who it is, it is Neymar from PSG. So we tried to sign him up, but his release fee is like 300 million. But we offered a loan deal for one year for 71.1 million. And this is the last season of this Master League. So it's basically like we're signing him out, right? At this point, a one year loan is basically a signing. So we're about like 3 million short on that uh, that transfer fee we have to pay to bring him in on loan. And we still have this offer for Griezmann for 95 million. I think we just accept this PSG offer and then sign up Neymar. I think, I think that's the play. Because then Neymar will start at left wing and then we could end up trying to keep Dembele or signing a new player to replace him pretty much. But I think for this final season, a 90 rated Neymar on the left wing, reunited with Messi, I think that's one of the biggest improvements we can make to this team. That is what what we're going to do. We're going to accept not renew contract. We're going to accept Griezmann for 95 million. So it's basically like a swap because we're letting Griezmann go to PSG and then we are signing up Neymar and we still have 92.8 million to work with. So we just signed up Neymar. Neymar is back at Barcelona. Now I know there's a lot of controversy with Neymar and Barcelona. Like uh, they've tried to like sue each other, but for this master league, we're going to ignore that. He's back. We're going to say Messi convinced him to come back to Barcelona. And since this is the final season, we're going to act like we signed him permanently. So officially Neymar is back at Barcelona. So we are giving Neymar back his 11 shirt. Uh, we're going to give them Bele 23 for now, but Neymar is back. And that is going to make this final season a little bit more interesting. So he starts at left wing. Neymar, Holland, and Messi is our front three of the season. That is that is insane. And we actually have a decent amount of money to work with still. Like we could still get Pogba, even though I don't really want to give up Jesus now that we signed up Neymar. I feel like I'm gonna reject this Pogba deal. We can maybe go back in for him later on with uh, with maybe Dembele. And then I was also thinking of doing a swap deal with Alfonso Davies. If we give up, maybe Jordi Alba. The only problem is it would still be really expensive. Yeah, his release fee is 135 million. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try offering another loan deal this time for Alfonso Davies for 35 million. If if Bayern Munich somehow accept that, I'm gonna put Jordi Alba on the transfer list, and then maybe if we can sell Jordi Alba, we'll pick up Alfonso Davies on loan. If that works again, I feel like we could strengthen a left back and move on from Jordi Alba. And then I think maybe the last thing we could use is maybe one more midfielder, like a box to box. All right, so we're gonna do more transfers, but first. First, we're going to play the first game of La Liga against Celta Vigo. Neymar's first game back and also the first game of the season, obviously. So I think if we start Foden, we're going to play with, uh, we're going to switch up the formation a little bit. We're going to have Rodri as like the holding mid and then De Jong beside him instead of instead of like ahead of him. And then Foden will basically play like a cam. But yeah, this is what we're going to go with for the first game. Neymar's first game back at Barcelona. His stats look insane. 96 dribbling, 95 tight possession. Yeah, I would say I would say that is a pretty large upgrade at, at left wing. So first game of La Liga, we got beat by Atletico Madrid in the last episode so badly. So I would like a win in the first actual game of La Liga, defending our title, also defending our invincible record from last season. So Neymar's first game back. Let's uh, let's see how we do. All right, La Liga kicks off. Where is he at? Neymar, there he is right in front of Holland. Neymar is back number 11. I am so glad you guys said that we should loan him in because that actually worked. That makes this final season a lot more exciting. This, this is going to be interesting. Old friends reunited Messi and Neymar. Will it still click on the pitch like it did? We are going to find out first game of La Liga against Celta Vigo, a team that we probably should beat. Was really not impressed by uh, Rodri in the last in the first game. So hopefully he can have a better game in this one. That's going to be up to Holland, but that is offside. To be honest, we just need a better game from everyone in this game. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Young going to do a fake shot. He's going to get a shot away. That is going to be blocked and then cleared. All right, can we get this first goal early on? That is what I want. I'm going to flip that to Rodri. Go back heel into Foden. Play that in to Neymar. He's going to go for a shot, and the keeper is there to stop that one. All right, Messi's going to pick this up with a lot of space. We find Neymar, we find Foden. I want Foden to be like a bigger part of the attack in this formation. But I mean, Messi, 
seems to be doing everything himself and he's gonna win that free kick now uh this is a very dangerous spot okay what is what is neymar's free kick i like i like taking these kind of free kicks with a with a right footer so i think we're gonna give this one to neymar can neymar put this in in his first game back with barcelona we hit the post oh that would have been perfect i think when there's free kicks on that side of the field we're gonna give it to neymar and then when it's on the other side we're gonna give it to messi i think odin swing that to rodri gonna find neymar in stride we're gonna go for a shot that's a dipping shot the keeper will save that though all right we are we are knocking on the door here all right swinging in this corner messi swing it in can Rodri get his head to it can he get the rebound can he get the rebound that is going to trickle in and that is going to be the first goal for barcelona in la liga this season from probably the most unlikeliest of players but Rodri scores his first goal for Barcelona. Yeah, it's a it's a very sloppy goal, but we've been the better team to start this game off. So I think I think it is deserved. I don't know where that deflection was, but I'll take it. All right, 30th minute. One nil is the scoreline now. Messi Holland's calling for this. Is he on side? I think he is. I think he held himself off right there. I think he is on side, and he is gonna put that away. Four to nil. All right, looks like the first goal has opened the floodgates. Yeah, it's just a it's just a pass from Rodri to Messi and Holland. Is made he made a perfect run. He kept himself on side, and then one on one. That is an easy finish that he should finish, and that is two nil in the 33rd minute now. All right now, let's see if we can get Neymar a goal on his uh, on his return. He just feels so quick. He's going to go for that shot, and that is, once again, straight at the keeper. And ball up to Holland. Almost the end of the first half. Can we get one more attack in? Neymar going to maybe try to cross that into Messi. That is a awkward clearance. Foden going to try to swing that to Messi. Messi's going to go for a shot. Keeper makes another good save. Can we get one more cross in, maybe? Going to fire that in to Foden. Foden first time shot, and that is going to be off. Target. 2-0 though, not a not a bad start to uh, our La Liga season. All right, good ball to Neymar from De Jong. Holland's calling for it. Can't reach him though. Gonna stick with this, Foden. We find Neymar. It's gonna go to Alba. That is gonna be cleared. I feel like we we could possibly score some decent goals in this game. Rodri's gonna go for a shot, and that was rising actually. That rises all the way into the stands. This was a little bit more to like the to the left. That might be in. It's a good ball to Neymar. Good ball to Neymar. Could this be the chance? And this keeper saves it again. This keeper is just saving just everything. Messi with a lot of space in the middle. What can we do here? Messi's going to go for that shot. And Messi is going to put that in for 3 nil. You just cannot give Messi all that space. You just can't. Like the CDM goes after De Jong. And then Messi just has the whole entire world to run into. And then that finish, that is a good finish. All right. 63rd minute. 3-0. Looks like it'll be Holland almost still is that, but this looks like it'll be a very good first game of the season for us. Much better than the uh, Atletico Madrid game. Just to top it off, it would be nice to get Neymar's uh, first goal. Jordi Alba is making a run. We're going to swing this in. Messi is there. Oh, Messi heads that off the post or crossbar, I think. Pretty sure this was like off the corner of the... Yeah, it was off the post. Could have been number four, but our first change is going to be Rodrigo to Paul on for Phil Foden. Okay, Neymar out wide. Can we maybe get a curling shot and maybe maybe Neymar goes for the curling shot and his keeper is just saving every every single Neymar shot it's getting ridiculous I mean, that was probably the best of all his shots today and that still is saved all right final subs on Jesus on for Holland and then Martinez is on for De Jong there is three minutes left can we get this fourth maybe with Neymar Jesus combining with his Brazilian teammate Neymar. Oh, Neymar puts it off target. It has been there for him to score in this game. He's played well. It's just the ball is not finding the back of the net. That was a good combo between the Brazilian teammates. Yeah, I think I think I want to keep Jesus. He's he's just really good to have coming off the bench. All right, and that is full time for our first game in the Liga. That is a 3-0 win. Rodri Holland and Messi scoring. So I would say it's a pretty good win. Neymar scored. It would be a little bit better, but he played well. Yeah, 15 shots to three. That was just that was just complete domination all right so rest of this episode i think we're gonna finish the transfer window and figure out what to do with the rest of this cash so we have 91 or 92 million that is a decent amount to work with i feel like i might want to do a swap maybe with uh with dembele for Kesa maybe and then maybe pick up a new midfielder i think but we will see okay alfonso davies this club wants a transfer fee of 40 million so it's another loan deal but like i said before a loan deal for a year for this final season is basically like a signing so for 40 million we get an 85 rated left back which would 
definitely improve our left back situation with Jordi Alba decreasing in rating. And we signed, we already signed Wyndall to be the backup. So if we do that deal, we can maybe let go of Jordi Alba. And that would be an upgrade in one of our, or actually it is our weakest spot. So Alfonso Davies, I think, is going to be signed up. Okay, this this loan, this loan transfer thing is kind of nice. And then uh I think Fiorentina rejected the Dembele swap deal with Kiesa that I offered. Okay, so Milinkovic Savage, he is transfer listed. So so Lazio are trying to get rid of him. And he is 88 rated. If we could somehow get him, that would be like the the cherry on top of this transfer window. So I might do another another loan offer actually. We do a loan offer for like 31 million. We're gonna see what uh, Lazio say to that. There is Alfonso Davies, our new left back. Man, we are making some big improvements. Neymar and Davies both brought in. Yeah, we are we are making some moves in this uh, final third season. He's 85 rated, one of the best left backs currently in the game. So I would say I would say that's a pretty pretty good signing. Look at that, Alfonso Davies joins his new teammates. Now what number do we give him? Um, where is he at? So currently he has. We're where is he at? I'm blind. He has a number seven. I don't want to give him number seven. Um, we'll just give him number 12. Like that suits a uh, a left back. So we're going to try to sell with Jordi Alba because we don't need three left backs. And then Davies is going to slot in at that left back position. 96 speed. Man, he's quick. He is. He is really good going forward. So that is going to that is gonna do wonders. So now I kind of feel like we, we just need a box to box midfielder, I think. And also, I feel like this formation, it actually was not that good because Rodri was not being a CDM. It was actually uh, Foden like dropping back. I want Rodri to be that like back back midfielder so we're gonna stick with this one I feel like this just this just suited us better but yeah alfonso davies at left back that is a that is a good signing i like it i like it so now just that midfield pose is a question now we're gonna wait to see if that savage deal gets accepted okay messi wins europe best player too by the way picking up uh, another award all right did savage's deal accepted we've been offered for iniesta you know what we might let go iniesta because we're not playing him and we kind of need the money uh okay it's only for three million okay three million maybe not maybe we'll keep him three million is like nothing all right come on this get this deal accepted get it accepted it's the next one and they accept it are we really gonna sign malinkovic savage as well as neymar and alfonso davies so that would be for only 38.6 for a one-year loan and he is 88 rated i think the final season i think we just gotta do it we just gotta do it that is most of our money now but alfonso davies neymar and malinkovic savage those are three humongous signings yeah all i can say about this final season is that we are we are going for it we are going for the treble la liga champions league and copa del rey we're going for everything 88 rated savage brought in this is this is gonna be fun okay, i think we're gonna give savage the number eight and then DePaul can maybe i mean should we give him number seven is there another player who could have number seven instead um he'll get number seven if we don't sign anyone else but i want savage having that uh, number eight yep so savage will go on the bench in place of dembele and then slot into that midfield de jong is savage and rodri Ooh, that is a that is a deadly deadly midfield this team this team looks insane i mean this bench this bench looks pretty solid we have defensive midfielders we have rodrigo to paul box to box and then Foden can play in the midfield could also play on the wings and then ansu and gabriel jesus like that is not bad that is not bad so we're gonna sim this game against granada using uh this this insane team for the first time with the new additions of savage and davies i am expecting a hefty hefty win in this game and it is going to be a 2-0 no win it's not hefty but that is a 2-0 no win so real madrid barcelona and Bilbao all start out and Villarreal all start out two wins out of two to start the season. All right, so I feel like the, the final position that we could maybe look at is uh, wingers. So I want Kiesa. I do have an offer out for him. I'm waiting for a reply on that. I feel like if we can't get him, we can maybe, do we try it? No, we don't have, we don't have enough money to try another uh, loan deal. I want Kiesa. I really want him. So we're going to jump into transfer deadline day and see, uh, see if that deal gets accepted. All right. Has this deal gotten accepted? No, it is not. And we've still gotten zero offers for Dembele, which is very, very annoying. It says Man United want him, but we've had no offers for him. All right, offer for Jordi Alba from Wolfsburg. I am going to accept this. And it is for 16 million. I mean, okay, can we get a little bit more maybe? That is a low ball offer. But do we have time to even negotiate this? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna take three hours though. Three hours? Three hours, I think we just accept this. That'll only take two hours off the, off the time limit. So Jordi 
Alba is on his way to the to the Bundesliga. We could maybe offer a uh, a loan deal for Ferran Torres. Actually, it says there is a high chance of success for only for only 20 million. You know, I'm gonna offer that. Why not? Because that seems like a pretty good deal. And and Man City accept that. So we can offer for Jesus as well to Atletico Madrid. We're not selling Jesus to Atletico Madrid though. So still no offers for uh, for Dembele, but Ferran Torres for 21.9 million. I would offer the same for Kesa, but I can't because uh, we already have a failed transfer on deadline day, I guess. So Ferran Torres, that could not be, it's not a bad option. My only question is, could we get someone like a little better like uh, Leroy Sané? I'm going to try it. Why not? Okay, no, they declined that. So it might be Ferran Torres is basically our only option because we cannot sell Dembele as much as we're trying to. And who knows? Maybe, maybe he'll have a good third season. So maybe we should keep him. Just trying to see, is there anyone else we can maybe offer for with a, with a loan deal? So we got uh, Mason Greenwood as an option. Also, actually not that many other players. Now we're getting to like the 84s. All right, we offered one more loan deal and that is for Memphis Depay. Now, would they accept this? Okay, they do accept that and that is for 28.4. So I just wonder how good is Memphis Depay out wide in this game? Like what's his rating? He's an 85 center forward, but what is his rating like out wide? Like he can play on the left wing and it, it would be realistic considering that he signed for Barcelona in real life. So it is him or him or Torres. Ferran Torres or Memphis Depay. You know what? I think I think because Memphis Depay signed for Barca in real life, it just makes sense. So final signing of the transfer window. This has been the, the craziest transfer window in this entire series. Final signing is going to be Memphis Depay. And that is pretty much going to be it for transfer deadline day. All right. So Memphis Depay is going to occupy that that empty seven spot. He is going to be number seven. How good is he at when he's on the left wing that's what i'm curious about so at right wing he's a 78 at the left wing he's an 80 so that's not it's not terrible he still has 81 finishing he's still pretty decent but man this team this team is looking mean this team is so stacked now it's just it's just stacked 85 86 88 86 86 88 90 90 87 and 93 and then 92 in goal and look at our bench we can make like a starting 11 out of the bench that would probably do well in every league so we are set up beautifully for this uh final season so I I think we're going to end the episode here in the next episode we'll start with the champions league so we have gank liverpool in the in the group and then uh lil so that is an interesting group i think i like that we get to play liverpool and then we should beat those other two teams other two teams more easily yeah this this final season is going to be a lot of fun i am so excited to use this team now in the next episode but that is it for this episode if you guys enjoyed i would appreciate you dropping a like on the video also subscribe to the channel if you have not but i will see you guys in the next video hope you all have a great day